Deeny ninny. I am Shinra. You have three wishes. What wish will it be? <laughs> I used to carry this, well, not this. Um, I used to have a, a fan like this. Let me tell you a story. It's a fun story for me anyway. I used to carry a fan in high school. And people think, it, I don't know what people think. I thought it was cool uh, to carry a fan. And it was wood, but I think that you can't carry metal fans because it could consider it as a weapon because you can hit people with it and it's a metal. Ow! I shouldn't hit myself. Uh, uh. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk about something that I found out that I was relearning and then as I was relearning, I was like, oh, wow, it clicked for the first time. But I try to, talk, I'm, try to explain it, but I understand it for myself. But I'm trying to explain it into a video. But you know what? I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just going to put it out there. Right? I think um, there is one person that I'm grateful for on this YouTube channel. So grateful. Um, uh, I think she is a true Taoist master. Right? And I think that she understood nature. She understood nature very well. Um, she understood life very well because through her I understood life uh, Understood it with new eyes new understanding Everything that I understood shift because of her and I'm grateful. Thank you um, So when it comes to understanding Taoism, right? Uh, people will say what is Taoism? It's nature. It's the way of nature um, that we are a part of nature. We're not separate from it. You could go to different religions, different like alchemy, alchemy or Wicca, witchcraft. They're all tied in together. But um, the Taoism is uh, part of the Chinese philosophy from Lao Tzu, and uh, he was a Chinese figure and historian figures. Um, I had I have his book, the Tao Te Ching, somewhere. Because I used to be obsessed with understanding the philosophy, but I couldn't understand it because, like, what is he saying? And because it's so hard to understand, it's not simple. And and then, you know, because of Wayne Dyer, because I saw, like, a video of Wayne Dyer a while back, uh, while I was uh, awakening, trying to find the truth and what is truth and what it is, and... As time I go on, I understood something, and then I go on this path longer, I, it opened my mind. Now, back then when I was a kid, I was practicing Taoism, but I didn't understand what it is. It's like Bruce Lee said, let nature take its course. And I used to like write that on my uh, like a um, sheet of paper, and I didn't really understand it. But basically what it means is letting life flow and unfold in uh, front of you instead of controlling planning because most people plan and control so I hate or I dislike when people try to plan things out in the uh, meaning that you should plan meaning that you should <sighs> how I explain this for me I like to have fun right I like to think on my feet every time I create a video like a funny video or like something, I'm thinking on my feet, I'm thinking, I'm letting it naturally happen. I'm letting the creativity, whatever uh, my image, it come to me, it flows to me, it flow to and through me to uh, make it magical. Usually, you know, the Halloween thing, I didn't plan that out. I let my, th and it usually be great, I, it's one take, usually one take. That it that doesn't have multiple take, and they usually come out funny. Actually, because I laugh my uh, <clears throat> myself and not be, I was like, man, I'm, that's funny. <laughs> but it's flow, right? You're not restricted. You're you're letting. It's like a pendulum, right? It's like now Bruce Lee understood uh, the Taoism, right? Because he practiced it. He's the master of it. Because in martial arts. Uh, it's fixed. It's not Taoism. It's going against nature because it's not fluid. Uh, that's why he's against forms. I understood it now because he's against form because it's fixed. Because when you're, he said, when you're finding an opponent, it's not fixed. 
it's 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 you won't know and it's unfolding right before your eyes right and he said when you're doing uh all these you know shadow boxings whatever or martial arts or something sports or something or i don't know what yeah shadow boxing he said you got to do it with broken rhythm meaning spontaneously action and i understood it and also talism also meaning being one with yourself and I didn't understand what being one with myself mean until I understood it now. <laughs> Alright, guess this. Being one with yourself is your mind and body become one. You'd be like, what does that mean? Watch this. Boom! That's Taoism. That's my mind become one. Actually, that's also meditation. You're like, what the, what, how's that meditation? That is meditation. When I'm doing this, you know, right? That's meditation. I can't do it. I wish I can just do like this, this. Man, I haven't done. All right, so that's meditation. Uh, most shards, um, I've been practicing. I realized I've been practicing meditation my whole life, but I didn't know. But I think I've been practicing it wrong. <laughs> okay, practicing meditation. There's many different meditation. Um, there's meditation. I think one time I tried to meditate to try to go to the astral world. <laughs> um, but meditation is also, you know, the slow movement Tai Chi. And it's also uh, karate or anything can be meditation. Whether you're sitting in meditation in Lotus. Um, what was it? I'm thinking of or standing or line anything I used to remember every time I breathe in and out a long time ago I used to practice it but not as much and it make my oh uh, somehow punch more powerful or something I don't know I tried that <laughs> try to do that thing and so but that is meditation so also when you're practicing Taoism let's say uh, intuition right when an idea come out or come up from your mind and it's bubbling up words image and you're not letting it come out meaning that let's say you think hey why am I thinking about this stuff it's weird and you're not letting it out you're going against Taoism nature and that once because when you're using your intuition your instinct when you're honing in and you take action and you're being one with yourself, you're taking action and letting the event unfold. That's what it really means. Letting the event unfold. Uh, okay. So, also life, right? When people take, say, flow with life or flow with nature, uh, because our blood flows, right? And circulates. And nature is the same. It always unfolds. Uh, it's the same thing as law of attraction when we want something we put out in the universe and We try to control it and everything. It's like serendipities and coincidences. We don't control it. It unfolds naturally Spontaneously isn't it right? We don't control it. We don't we expect it to happen, but we don't know when man We try to say when it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen but if you play of playfulness like surprise It'll unfold to you and it'll come into like the right time and the right place. That's what it is. And then also, I used to wear this. Uh, I bought the... Because I used to love the um, the yin and the yang uh, symbol. Because it's cool, right? Um, and it's like a double fish uh, diagram with the light and darkness. Now we have light and darkness within us. Because there... So there would be no light. So we would not be light without darkness. Because if we haven't been through the darkness, we wouldn't shine. We wouldn't be going. We wouldn't see the light. In order to see the light, you need to go through something dark, very dark. Um, and in in the kung fu world, so in the kung fu world, people do the bow right to respect. And so we do this to respect the teachers, the brothers, the kung fu brothers. Um, but I remember, and I was looking up on the article, try to remember it back. Someone told me that this mean the Chinese character, 
for the sun, and then this the moon together. The yin, uh, the yin and the yang, yin and yang together. Um, and then I think also this symbol is the Ouroboros of life. Um, when you send out an energy, it's the Ouroboros of life. It's the circle of life. For every season, it always comes back, right? The circle of life. Um, that's what it means, the circle of life. And also, uh, what was it called? So, I think that all the martial arts, and I've been, yeah, yeah so, <laughs> So the greatest story that I want to tell was uh, was when a long time ago when I was teaching my brother uh, kung fu uh, at home, the other house. Uh, my brother was doing meditation, <coughs> and my uh, me and my other brother we were laughing yesterday because uh, my younger youngest brother he would be uh, sitting and uh, I was I told him to do meditation and. <coughs> He would fall asleep and he would <laughs> It was too funny. So, and then also thousands of them talk about, so I talk about f unfolding of your life. So you have to let it unfold for you. Um, I think that's more funner that way because when people try to plan and try to control things, it's because I have friend like her like that. They plan, but it's not fun for me. They don't know that. I haven't told them that. But when it's spontaneously uh, events that are mysterious and unknown, it's fun. And it make you come alive. I, uh, and you see new things with new eyes again. And, okay, so when people talk about non-doing or, wu, what was it, wu-wei or something? I can't remember. I think, it's, uh, I think I'm wrong. But it's somewhere here. I think I'm wrong. You guys should... Correct me because I'm wrong. I don't. Because Bruce Lee says something here. Anyway, people think that non doing, when you're not doing anything, uh, that means you're not being productive and that, you know, people make you uh, feel guilty for not relaxing and um, uh, going to make your dream happen. Of course, you should make your dream happen. But you should also, when you relax and, you know, you, you, recharge your mind or however you do it it'll help you to become more productive right I noticed that and and it's like a pendulum it's like uh, people so in this it represent harmony balance right when people go to the extreme they, it's like Elon Musk right he when he go to extreme um, and he don't take relax um, like sleep or I don't know what he what was it like he, if he take too much action, um, he's going and he's killing himself or something. I can't remember what uh, um, the co-founder of uh, Huffington said, but she told him to like he need uh, rest and sleep, something like that. And because of people have a lot of bias for action and it could kill them, like you know the hustle thing. So when you, it's okay to have time for yourself, relax and sleep because you need it. Uh, because if you don't, it'll kill you. Um, and you're going, and when you do get enough, and then um, you become more uh, uh, mentally ready. Because when you're not resting, you're not mentally ready. So in life, it's harmony within yourself too. And I think also this represents uh, where is it? The conscious and the subconscious mind. You'd be like, how is that? The conscious and the subconscious mind is also the yin and the yang, because it's always circling back up and going back down, right? Every time it's going back up and down, right? And that's that is life. Or boral is life. Did you? So, all right. I think that's too much long. That's. Um, I think Oh, wait oh, I was so excited I was like Fuck Meditation Meditation Alright, I need uh, People in martial arts Like, damn You fell You fell I don't have enough energy For that Come on It's like <laughs> I'm good I'm good I'll see you guys next